Organ transplantation has become so successful and is a life-saving option for many patients with end-stage organ disease, but there are not enough organs, and for every transplant recipient, unfortunately, we have people on the wait list who succumb before they get an offer, and that's a real challenge. We have um, traditionally preserved organs between the donor and the recipient on ice in cold storage uh, so that they are uh, usable when they get to the recipient hospital and, and, and uh, can be transplanted. But that's not a very healthy environment for an organ to be in. And more and more we're using less than perfect organs uh, because of the crunch and using them safely for transplant. And that's become increasingly possible with a new form of preservation called machine perfusion where we keep organs between the donor and the recipient alive, perfused with either blood or other energy substrates with oxygen and blood flow. And this is a more natural environment. And more organs that are perhaps less than perfect uh, can be transplanted this way. It allows us to transport them over longer distances to the neediest patients. It allows us to study the organs to see whether they're safe for transplant, something we can't do when they're on ice. And it allows us to potentially do reparative interventions to take organs that are uh, perhaps transplantable and to fix them, maybe defatting a fatty liver or oxygenating a liver that's really um, energy depleted and so on. So our effort here is involved using C3A cell culture media, CGEM, which is very, very rich in proteins that are anti-inflammatory and promote growth and decrease liver cell death, adding that to the machine perfusion to see if we can get the most severely injured of organs also to be transplantable. And preliminary studies that we've done have been remarkable. We've seen livers that nobody would transplant, and after a few hours on the machine perfusion with CGEM, these livers come alive.